Pauline. For decades, this name was popular. In the 1900s, 13,310. In 1910, 50,076. In 1920s, 64,072. In the 1930s, 33,682. In 2019, only 49 baby girls were named Pauline. Pauline is predominantly a feminine name that has its roots in the Latin language. The name is derived from the masculine name Paul, which itself comes from the Roman family name Paulis. The feminine version of Paulis is Paulina, eventually led to the development of the name Pauline, which it has been widely embraced across different cultures. The name Pauline is associated with the meaning of small or humble. These characteristics depict a sense of simplicity and modesty. It would be nice to have more modesty today. These qualities were highly valued in many cultures through many generations. Hilda for girls. For decades, this name was popular. During the 1900s, it was ranked 99. There were 6,783 babies named Hilda. Number of babies born in 2019 was only 48. The name Hilda is of German origin and means war and battle. Saint Hilda, however, was known as a patriot saint of culture, learning, and poetry, which may have inspired mothers to name their daughter after her in the 1900s. Anyone who was reading the comic strips in the 1970s may recall Broomhilda, the 1500-year-old witch that loved men and beer. Willard for boys. This name was also popular. During the 1910s, there was 15,364. During the 1920s, 18,442 babies were born named Willard. The number of babies born in 2019 was 2,750. The name Willard has English and German roots and it means strong, brave, and valiant. Broadcast media personality Willard Scott is better known for his voice than his moniker. Willard Van Omar Kwan made an indelible imprint in the field of philosophy and was the author of three books, Word and Object, The Roots of Reference and Autobiography, The Time of My Life. Sherry for girls. In the 1940s, there were 32,757 babies born named Sherry. In 2012, there was only 72. In 2015, there was 77. Here comes 2019, and we have an uptick with 3,533 babies named Sherry. It was most likely, probably, inspired by the French word Sherry, spelled C-H-E with a hyphen R-I-E, meaning darling. Or the English word Sherry, a type of fortified wine, named from the Spanish town of Cherise. This name came into popular use during the 1920s inspired by another similar sounding names and by Carlitz's novel Sherry from the 1920s. English translation in 1929. Sherry is also a name in the video game Resident Evil series, Sherry Birkin. Steve Perry, a journey in 1984's song, Oh Sherry, was one of his biggest solo hits on the album Street Talk. 
clawed could be also used for a boy and a girl. In the 1900s, there was 3,704 baby boys born named Claude. In the 1910s, there was 12,792. In 2013, there were only 43. In 2015, there were 51 boys named Claude. In 2014, Claude was the fourth most common name in France. Also in France, the masculine name has been common since the Middle Ages due to the 7th century Saint Claude. It was imported to Britain in the 16th century by the aristocratic Hamilton family who had French connections. A famous bearer of this name was the French impersonist painter Claude Monet from 1840 to 1926. Ida for a girl. The name has ancient dramatic entomology according to which it means industrious or prosperous. It's also derived from dramatic element ID, possibly meaning work or labor. In English baby names, the meaning of the name Ida is diligent. The Normans brought this name to England, though it eventually died out there in the Middle Ages. It was strongly revived in the 19th century, in part due to the heroine in Alfred Tyson's poem, The Princess, in 1847, by Gilbert and Sullivan. Though the entomology is unrelated, this is the name of a mountain on the island of Crete, where according to Greek mythology, the god Zeus was born. Ida ranks in the top 10 popular names during the 1880s. Ida came in seventh on the chart. Homer for a boy. Ancient Greek and English origins. In the 1900s, 2,915 babies were given the name Homer. During 1910s, 11,470. 2015, 29. And 2019, only 23 babies named Homer. Homer ranked at 78 on the top 100 most popular names during the 1880s. During the 1900s, Homer ranked at 82 in the top 100 most popular names, according to the Social Security database, which actually started in the 1880s. Homer, from the Greek name Homerus, meaning hostage or pledge, Homer was the Greek epic poet who wrote the Iliad about the Trojan War and the Odyssey about Odysseus's journey home after the war. There is some debate about when he lived or if he was even a real person, though most scholars place him in the 8th century BC. In the modern era, Homer has been used as a given name in the English-speaking world chiefly in America since the 18th century. The name is borne by the oafish cartoon father on the television series, The Simpsons. Blanche, or a girl. Usage is French and English origins. In the 1880s, there were 6,925 girls born with the name Blanche. During the 1900s, 11,730. During the 1910s, 21,977. In 2019, less than five girls were born with the name Blanche. From a medieval French nickname meaning white, fair colored, this word and its condiments in other languages are ultimately derived from the dramatic word Blanquez. An earlier bearer was the 12th century Blanca of Navaria, the wife of Sancho III of Castile. Her granddaughter of the same name married Louise VIII of France, with the result that the name became more common in France. 
Now, we have found a boy named Blanche in our research. Blanche Kelso Bruce was a former slave who became the first black American to serve a full term in the U.S. Senate. He was a Republican. He served from 1875 to 1881. He advocated for civil rights for blacks, Native Americans, and the Chinese immigrants. He also advocated for better relations between the races. He was also a successful educator before entering politics. French royals helped popularize the name Blanche decades later. Blanche de Bois would give the name a different twist in Tennessee Williams' A Streetcar Named Desire, starring Vivian Lee. Wilbert for a boy. The name Wilbert is rooted in Old German and means brilliant and bright. In the 1910s, there was 12,411. And in 2019, there was only 36 baby boys given the name Wilbert. The surname Wilbert was first found in Huntingdonshire, where the name appeared in the 13th century. Huntingdonshire, or Hunts, is now a part of Cambridgeshire as a non-metropolitan district and it's located in the east of England. It has remained unchanged in its boundaries since the 10th century. It lost its historical country status in 1974. The name Wilbert, like many surnames, comes from a personal name, and in this case, the Old English name Wilbert, which meant Wellbright. The personal version of the name was uncommon even in its early days and had faded into near non-existence. By the time the surname first appeared, though the surname did not appear in any records beyond the 11th century, it must have still been in use, probably by peasants, since the Wilbert name no doubt originates from it. From Old English surname that was originally derived from the nickname Wilbur, meaning wild boar in Middle English, this name was born by Wilbert Wright, 1867-1912, one half of the Wright brothers who together invented the first successful airplane. Wright was named after the Methodist minister Wilbert Fisk, 1792-1837. Also, a famous fictional bearer is the main character, a pig, in the children's novel Charlotte's Web in 1952 by E.B. White. A noble of this surname, Samuel Wilbert, 1595 to 1556, one of the founding settlers of Portsmouth in the colony of Rhode Island. Mammy, or a girl. In the Social Security database that reaches back to the 1880s, I could not find any baby girls given the name Mammy. In other research, I found that in the 1900s, 10,618 baby girls were given the name Mammy. This I cannot confirm. The entomology of Mammy takes us back to its French origins. The name is thought to have originated from the Latin name Maria, which found its way into French as Marie. Over time, Marie gave rise to various diminutive forms, including Mammy. Mammy is also short form of the Greek name Margaret. As Margaret means pearl, so too does Mammy. Mammy also is connected to Mary, meaning star of the sea. Reaching as far back through the 1900s, there were many famous people named Mammy. Former First Lady Mammy Eisenhower, the wife of President Dwight D. Eisenhower, known for her elegance and grace, Mammy Eisenhower played a pivotal role as the First Lady, 1953-1961. She was admired for her fashion sense and her commitment to supporting military families. 
Mammy Phillips Clark, 1917-1983, was a black social psychiatrist focusing on the development of self-consciousness in black preschool children. Mammy Clark was known for her work in the 1940s experiments using dolls to study children's attitudes about race. In 1943, Mamie Clark was the first black woman to earn a PhD in psychology from Columbia University. Hattie McDaniel, 1893-1952. Hattie played Mammy in Gone with the Wind, 1939. She won the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress, becoming the first black actress to win an Oscar. She has two stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Mammy Smith, 1891-1946, was an American singer. As a vaudeville singer, she performed in multiple styles including jazz and blues. In 1920, she entered blues history as the first black artist to make vocal blues recordings. Mammy's biggest hit was recorded on August 10, 1920, when she recorded Crazy Blues, and a million copies were sold that year. Because of its historical significance, Crazy Blues was inducted into the Grammy Hall of Fame in 1994 and was selected for preservation in the National Recording Registry of the Library of Congress in 2005.